called Solaris. And there's a great poem in there. It's really the, the core of releasing specialness and opening the holiness. Though lovers be lost, love shall not, and death shall have no dominion. And the whole movie, George Clooney plays a psychologist who, who goes up to this planet called Solaris, which represents the divine will that, that you know, your thoughts uh, are instantly made manifest. And, and his wife uh, had committed suicide. And when he goes up to Solaris, he goes to sleep his first night. And his arm comes around. <laughs> and it's her. It's actually a, a, an Australian actress, very, very beautiful. And, and he's just shocked. And he gets up and he is so terrified because it doesn't fit into his box. You know, dead is dead and gone. <laughs> and her, her arm comes around him. And she's so loving, but she conveys to him, you know, that, that she's not, she's kind of confused because she's just playing out what's left uh, in, in his mind of, of her. Uh, not seeing her whole and complete yet. He's still playing things out about the suicide, what he could have done differently, and, and whatever. And when she comes back uh, near Solaris, she's just playing this out. So he's so terrified of her. Uh, because it doesn't fit into his box, and he puts her into like a little pod, and psh, it's the eject button, <laughs> and sends her away. Uh, then he goes to sleep the second night, <laughs> and here <laughs> she comes again, because he's still thinking of her. Uh, so with Solaris, it's like the thoughts are made manifest instantly, and, and then he has to go through forgiveness process of, of that, and in the end, he realizes that he remembered her wrong. Uh, that was his only problem, uh, was he remembered her wrong. And she comes back again at the very end of the movie, you know, and says, everything is forgiven. Everything. Like, you can let go of however you remembered me, because the love is, will be there forever. And she gives him this big kiss, and it's just it's beautiful. And so that's really what we're opening to is, you know, the ego. Through the ego, we remembered our brothers and sisters wrong. We didn't see the Christ in them. And that's all these holy encounters are about, is to see them anew, and, and therefore accept it for ourselves. You know, that we're the Christ, and they're the Christ, and that we just rip time. There was a memory that got in the way of grievances and judgments that, that was not our reality.